this is Topaz with Voice to the Void, checking out MC Rasta Tekkit. Um, this is tekkit.xodusen.com. Uh, seems like an interesting one. It seems to be somewhat newish. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. Spawn is not yet finished. Well, if Spawn isn't finished, then that basically tells you, uh, that it is a newer server. Uh, 80 slots, so plenty of space for anybody that you might know. This is a weird building. Am I supposed to have spawned inside of the building? Uh, apparently not, because I can't get in. This is kind of a cool little area in here. Um, okay. Not sure what this building is actually for then. Maybe just for looking cool. The spawn is not yet finished. Is there any anything I missed with uh that? The town the town everyone can live for free. Oh, the town everyone can live in for free, I'm assuming. That plenty of people wanting to Skype. So if you like Skyping, this might be a better server. Let's change back to F1. Oh, wait, did I get any items? No, I didn't get any items. So that's a cool place. I don't know what it is with lava floating over people's heads. I think that that's kind of more creepy than cool. Um, oh, hey. So there is lots of computers filled with text. Let me let me read them out. Uh, so rules, no griefing, and then this, there's going to be other... Oh, okay, so then there's offenses. Um, so no griefing... Um, no swearing, so this is good for younger. Uh, no harassing staff, no PvP, uh, don't ask for items, don't ask for staff 24-7, um, don't spam, don't ask for staff positions, use kit commands to get yourself started. Okay. So let's see what they contain. Slash kit. So I get slash weekly iron oop said that wrong slash kit weekly iron ooh unbreaking one efficiency one three items uh, iron axe iron pickaxe iron shovel nice so i get three enchanted iron items for free at the start slash kit starter okay well that's that's also nice so then i get some leather goods nice get my nice leather goods a rubber tree sapling Ooh, i like that i like when they include that right off the bat and a bat box and some copper cabling. So now, do they... Kit. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can only ever use that once. Uh, so be careful if you're like me and you're prone to getting killed by things. Um, you might want to save that until you found your home. Um, so yeah, uh, so that, that they're keeping it behind kits. That's always a nice thing to have. And kit stake. And I get six steak. Mmm, delicious steak. Yay! Okay. So, we have kits. Yay! Um, don't dupe. Uh, don't use dupe glitches. Um, don't steal. Don't advertise. Do not set home in another person's base, basically, so that you're not uh, spamming and attacking them. Uh, do not build quarries on sizes different from default, so don't build gigantic quarries or weird shaped quarries do not ruin the landscape with random holes noob towers flying trees whatever uh, no automatic factories that's an interesting one so if you want to build crazy automatic factories you can't do that here uh, that's probably to cut down on server lag but that's always a little bit annoying do not advertise for other servers uh, admin doesn't like that rule breakers are punished by a evil uh, an evil rank, and um, 
when you die, you immediately respawn in lava, which is actually probably what that is up there, is a giant respawn location. Great. Well, glad to know that if uh, anybody griefs your stuff, they literally burn in hell for eternity, or at least as long as they want to log into the server. Uh, banned items, red matter tools, red matter armor, gem armor, teleport, and all of the different anchors and the world loaders. Um, Philosopher's Stone is craft craftable, but right-clicking is banned. Hyperkinetic lens, catalytic lens... Uh, yeah, catalytic lens and destruction catalyst are all banned. Uh, the explosives are banned. Red matter furnace banned. Um, oh, regular TNT is not banned out of the explosives. Uh, mining lasers banned. Dark matter pedestals banned. Red power pump is banned. Um, TNT is craftable, but not banned. Uh, Vulcanite amulet, Evertide amulet, Ring of Arcana, Archangel Smike, Void Ring, Black Hole all banned, all banned. Banned bands. Yeah. Uh, weapons mod is banned because it bypasses PvP restrictions. Crystal chess. Um, oh, interesting. Oh, okay, the crystal ones create lag, so that's why they're banned. Uh, dark matter furnace, art, alchemical tomes. So you can't learn all of the random items from it. Um, if it's not on the, they might have other items up from that list that aren't on there. Um, okay, perks. Interesting. Oh, okay, so you can donate in a bunch of different ones. Um, $5 plus on that, you get an automated cow farm. I'm not sure what you get for that. Um, a dimensional anchor. So you actually get an anchor. That's cool. Oh, that's very cool. So you, you can actually use your stuff here and have it going if you donate some money on this server. Um, so, yeah, so you get an anchor if you uh, donate money to it and can actually have that up and running all the time. Very cool. Uh, access to slash chest and slash workbench. Okay, so so I'm assuming that those are uh, portable storage and stuff like that. Uh, ability to set up to eight homes and quantum leggings for only five bucks. That's, that's a lot of potency for five bucks. I'm not sure what the cow farm does, though. Um... Now, if you want 10 bucks, it's all of those things, plus a quantum helmet uncharged, automated mob farm, a warp set up for you, so you actually get your own warp that uh, people can go to, ability to set up to 15 homes, wow, um, so that's cool, uh, I, I really like the initial one uh, up there, so let's go to $20, all of those, plus three high voltage solar arrays, which are a pain to craft, one MFSU to probably store the stuff from the high voltage solar array, 32 glass fiber cables to probably connect those, ability to set up to 20 homes, dark matter, pickaxe, shovel, sword. Impressive. I, I'm still amazed by that one up there. Um, let's see, $30, all of that. A uh, bunch of Mark III collectors and relays. That basically has set you for life in an energy condenser. Uh, red matter, pickaxe, shovel, sword. Ability to set up to 26 homes, another three high voltage solar arrays, another MFSU, and a bunch of that. I don't believe that those. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't believe that the equivalent exchange stuff is banned, so I don't know if that one's really all that big of a deal. Uh, I mean, high voltage solar arrays are always important, but I mean, you already got a few over there. But whatever, whatever. Very, still very cool. Uh, and you also get the red matter stuff. So red matter is probably the best out of that. And then uh, $50, basically, it seems like you can break everything. Uh, you get piles of energy and everything like that. Red Qatar, red morning star, ability to set 35 different homes. Basically, you can teleport all over the map at that rate. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, please vote for them. Keep the server populated. Gives you five diamonds per vote. Wow. Also a good one. Uh, please donate. Server costs about 60 euros a month. Um, currently, oh, nice. Currently, they have uh, more than they need for this month. Um, hopefully, I'll be. Oh, wait. That's not this month. Um, never mind. Uh, oh, TeamSpeak. So you can go into the TeamSpeak and talk to people, uh, help people with tickets, and the current time. Oh, and how many ticks? That's pretty cool. I like when you when the, uh, the it has a tick counter of some kind. So yeah, plenty of food. P 
people trying to find out coffee beans, stuff like that. Somebody doesn't have bones. What's in here? Seems like a little tree farm thing in there. Interesting. Okay, so um, doesn't seem like too many people are set up around here. There's a little place over there, a bunch of other things. Uh, this seems like a rather cool ser uh, server. Let's let's explore a little bit more. Uh, I just want to see what's around here. I think that's basically going to be all of the server at the moment, but it seems like a relatively good open server. Um, do 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 do. Not sure what's quite going on here, um, but for the most part, um, this does use the TechEd 3.1.2, um, has some uh, plugins, factions, BOS economy, I'm not sure what that one is, showcase. So I think you can have those little showcase things to it. Chess shop, well, the, the little uh, spinning items, those types of things. Uh, chess shop essentials, votifier, supply sign, Alpha Chest, Noltum, Disable Craft, World Edit, World Guard, etc., etc., etc. They basically are promising, though, uh, that you'll have no lag on this server, um, which I can see because of the um, because of the restrictions that they put on it, and they're actually hosting it on some relatively beefy software, according to them. Um, let's see. Doing that, ah yes, um, they have yeah, 16 gigabyte RAM, eight core processor, uh, uh, what is that? Four terabyte hard drive almost. So yeah, you, it, it's going to be pretty impressive. Uh, the the only thing might be connection speed. It doesn't list that there. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, I like a lot of this type of stuff. Do I have any warps available? I do not have permission to list warps. Okay. Okay. Let, let me see if there's slash warp shop. Slash warp shops. Okay. Slash help. Let me see if there's anything interesting on that. Home. Okay, so I do have home. Then I can remove homes, um, help from operators, more home stuff, um, help to teleport places. Oh, okay, so I can teleport to people right off the bat. Uh, rules, setting homes, all of that type of stuff. There's more. Um, and then I can deny teleports to people, I can warp to different ones, and I have spawn. Okay, most of the standard stuff there. Um, not too particular in this. I'm currently wandering through this jungle, and there's a duck chicken thing currently drowning over there. Um, but yeah, no, it seems like a very cool server. Uh, not much built up. Seems relatively new. Um, it's, current, uh, it's currently seeming to be relatively straightforward with its building. Uh, if you want a new server that's just kind of getting started, want some input on uh, that, and want some really cool rewards for just donating five bucks to the uh, to the server hosting, which also to me gives it a good chance of surviving, uh, as a lot of servers don't, uh, with the rewards, because you'll have a lot of people loading the stuff. I'm not 100% sure how those... Um, dimensional anchors are going to be uh, handed out and handled just in general uh, but for the most part yeah I'm basically receiving no lag here eee, ow going to eat some of this delicious beef that's included in it and remember they also give you uh, all of these wonderful enchanted items and a bat box right to start off with that's really nice um, so for the most part this was MC Rasta. Uh, 
here on Tech at Servitor with Topaz uh, from Voice to the Void. Uh, if you have another server that you do want me to review, you want me to check out your server or a server that you really like to play on or one maybe that you hate to play on, um, just leave it in the comments below or send me a message. Uh, always willing to look at more and more servers as I go. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, feel free to like or subscribe. Uh, ooh, notice Dark Matter and Red Matter Furnaces are banned. Notify a staff member when you see one. Okay, so they even have the other stuff. And you do have uh, reporting things to ops being an actual option in there. So lots of cool stuff going on. Anyway, this is uh, Topaz with Voice to the Void. Uh, see you next time. Bye!